Make it stop. What's that in the world? Welcome, uh, it's a good Friday, you know. Chilling. Welcome to another episode of Kanye Confessionals. I'm your host, Deshaun. Sitting here on this lovely Friday. What's today the, uh, today the what, 7th? It's the 7th, August. man. 7th of August. August. You know, we here again, as usual. Thank y'all for tuning in, those that can tune in. Thank God it's Friday, man. Man, thank, yeah, another week, man. man. I swear to God. This shit going by fast. I mean, it do go by fast, but then some weeks just drag a little bit, you know, and it's like, when Friday get here, nigga, I'm about ready to hit a backflip. Dude, for real, though. As soon as Monday hit, I'm already ready. I'm waiting for Friday. I'm, I'm, waiting, on, for I'm waiting for Friday. Friday. I need Friday hey, in my life. The weather's actually nice outside. It's actually a beautiful day. Man, what happened with that weather on Wednesday? Dude, that shit was some bullshit. It was actually sprinkling on my that way to shit, work. That shit was great. That nigga, was, like... That was that stay inside and cut away. Uh, yeah, yeah, it really was. Like it was stay like in and get it in. Don't come outside. I think that was just like a sign to go ahead and be like, nigga, summer is fucked. Mm -hmm. Just, just do know. I mean, it's August. I'm gonna give you a little drizzle just to let you know the summer is is a wrap. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Well, what's happening with y'all, man? You know, like I said, welcome to another episode of Kanye Confessionals. I'm your host, Deshaun, in association with VJ TV, where media meets Feral Films, uh, History and the Making Entertainment. You know. Coming to y'all live as we do every Friday. Me and my man Johnny. Tell them where they can find you at, bro. You know, uh, your boy Jay Hughes, Johnny Johnny Hughes. You find me on Facebook. Catch me on uh, Facebook or Instagram. Um, yeah, we're going through this this uh, this this damn Corona shit, man. But damn. when 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 it lets up, keep your eyes out for one of the biggest parties. You gonna oh, yeah. go ahead and be able to catch, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, we gonna, we gonna, you know, we gonna do it big. Over. We gonna, we gonna, we gonna do something spectacular. You know what I'm saying? It, it probably, and I ain't gonna even lie, man. Right about now, mm -hmm. the way I feel, shit probably ain't gonna happen until next year, man. As much as yes. I, as much as I want to bring folks together, man, I love bringing folks together. Yeah. You know, I want, I want folks to be able to go ahead and yes. make a new friend. I hate motherfuckers like, oh, I have no friends, nigga. How you gonna live in a in a world of all these people and you ain't got no friends? It's yeah, a crazy ass. ass. My, I, mask I, my up. Kind of, yeah, confessionals mask in the, in the car. But well, I need, like yeah. I said, man, you know, um, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Y'all look her up, man. She she do great work, you know. Shout her out again, as always. Mm -hmm. um, but it's been a... Uh, you got some more new logos while you're at it. Yeah, you know, we're going to have uh, some flasks coming, some T-shirts coming. Oh, uh, I'm doing my YouTube page, uh, so you'll be able to catch all the podcasts on the YouTube page. I got, I think, like three up there right now. So, you know, I appreciate if y'all do tune in, comment, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You know, we just trying to do something cool, you know, in these trying times. You know, been doing this about a year now. So, uh, my nigga. Cheers, as always. Oh, we got to start off with a good cheers. Start Friday, right? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I got great. <laughs> 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 yeah, so, uh, you know, it's been a lot of shit going on. And first, I just want to, uh, you know, rest in peace to Uncle James King, you know, yeah. passed yesterday to the family. Condolences, you know, condolences, man. That, that's, uh, you know, a big loss to the fam. Mm -hmm. You know, hearts and prayers with the fam on that one. Um, then also the uh, the shit in Lebanon and whatnot, you know, that uh, fireworks explosion. Man, AKA nigga, that shit strike. was... Horrific! Like I ain't never seen an explosion like that, man. Dude, I mean, see, like that thing. You see the sound wave? Yeah. From that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Like that car. One of the that, that car that had that, that car shit. that had uh was filming it, man. Damn near flipped over. Yeah. If that not flipped was, over, shit. Hey, I'm I'm you know I'm that was some. It's, it's it sucks that it's a lot of innocent people that lost their life in that very, situation. Very much so, man. You know, we live in a world of greed, and that's 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 you know it's real sad. Cause I watched uh, a bunch of them videos and I'd seen some of that carnage, the aftermath of that, and that was just that—that that was wow. Well, man, I mean, you know, I—I uh, I, I tell you, man, it's—it's it's a lot of shit going on right now. So, a lot. Um, you know, we we keep on having black on black, you know, or I mean, uh, p police against black plus black on black. You know, we keep having that as always a factor, but then we have. You know this virus that comes into play. You know, uh, just things getting bombed, shit. You know, just just really in a disarray right now, man. I mean, 
you know, shit, we got to, we better, I, I hope folks is getting prepared or at least have some type of, you know, plan A, plan B, you better have plan A through G. For you real. You know, because, like, if the race won, you know, the wrong thing pop off, mm -hmm. you know, I'm, I'm it, it's, it's a lot of people that are ready. Yeah. But it ain't a lot of us that are ready. Hey, yeah, that, them, them, Hell, I need to get my damn self ready some more shit. Hey, them, yeah, you know? them, them people been ready for a minute. And they keep doing things to urge it on. Mm -hmm. Just like, um, and pardon my uh, absent-mindedness on the brother's name. I just seen another video where it was a brother that was having a seizure or whatnot. Mm -hmm. And they... Uh, was needing help and they basically the paramedics or the police whoever they was I couldn't watch the whole video because you know I, I get I you know you can't keep watching that stuff over and over sometimes you can and you know but I, I couldn't watch this one mm -hmm. is but they uh, he was I guess he was having a seizure or something and they restrained him handcuffed him and oh, covered yeah, him and then he ended up passing you know yeah. it's these race soldiers gonna continue to poke the bear you know, it's sad because now we just have cameras. It's not like it wasn't happening before. Now we just exactly. have cameras. Everything's getting and, filmed. You know, instant access. Anybody can watch that, man. I mean, kids have Instagram at this point. Yeah. You know what I mean, like, you know, parents have to make sure that they really be watching out what their kids can see because, yeah. you know, everybody's recording. Everybody putting every yeah, you see any and all things, man. Yeah. It's just. It's, it's, it's a little wild right now. You got people, uh, I mean, it's been, like you said, everybody recording things. You, I've seen the the videos. You know, you got the Karens, the, the barbecue <laughs> Beckys. You got <laughs> the Kens. You know, I've seen this right. one dude. It was a racist dude. Uh, and he was telling me he was a race soldier. And he was talking crazy somewhere and, and had his shirt off. And he slapped the hell out of this lady. And then, of course, they tackled him and all that. Mm -hmm. But... People are brave and bold as hell, and that's because you got that pink bitch in office. And we know that. And and the thing about it, because I was having this conversation with one of my coworkers, and they made the comment of, I can't wait till that motherfucker die. And I was like, he's not the problem. It's not him. The thing about it, it's the motherfuckers behind him who think like him. That's just one motherfucker. You know, that's... that's I Donald think, Trump, I, that, well, I ain't call his name, that bitch dying or whatever is the equivalent of one sperm cell dropping in the ocean. That ain't going to feed nobody. That's just one motherfucker. I think we need to, you know, not forget the fact that there's only been one president not of Caucasian origin or Caucasian, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, makeup. Yeah. And it's like. We've had what a Bill Clinton. We've had you know back in the day they had George, I you know. Don't uh, fuck with that nigga. No, I'm, I'm not even yeah. saying it like that, but I'm just saying even you know with the Kennedys. I mean you know they they were supposed to be cool, but then they got killed. Clinton. I mean, know. excuse me. The Kennedys was was players. They was. They players. family was gangster. Well, well let yeah check out history. Them. I, I'm them just saying. So, was, so basically, that gets back to my my yeah. real point. You know, which one is gonna be cool? Which one is really actually going to be for the people or make sure? And then you said, yeah, I mean, like, the people behind them. Right. They, the people behind them are supporting and, and edging the shit on all all the same as well. Mm -hmm. So it's just, it's, it's, a, it's continuous. And the thing about it, which I tell people, and I'm trying to see who commenting. So pardon no, my sure. light delay. Um... Until we get some real grassroots people in, and I don't mean politicians, it's this it's the left wing, white, right wing, it's the same bird. You know, everybody coming in with this whole what uh the Epstein Island and all these uh Democrats and all them who and all these actors and all these people who have been, you know, playing and cause that's the real problem. We got racism and white supremacy, but the, the other thing is that's been swept under the rug is this child pedophilia thing and these child traffickers. That that shit is 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 so I hate rampant. To say, man, times is bad right now, man. Is times is bad. Here's the thing about it. Once you said things are being filmed and things are being exposed, this shit has always been happening. It's not new. I think 
and and very true, it's not new, but when motherfuckers get to be able to view it, yeah, it inspires them to do dumb shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's just it's just fuel it's fuel on the fire, you know, it's fuel to the fire. It, 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 we, we, there has to be some type of you know, let up. I mean at least you know, now now we got presidential, you know, I mean so brother Harold, I see you, you know, a, a political, you know, party of fools up in here and, right. and just doing all kind of shenanigans. You know. Yeah, cuz I mean, it's it's it, it's once again, it's just it's so deep when you go down that rabbit hole in the deep state of really what's going on because and I, you know, I I talk shit just like anybody else do. I'm not a democratic or a republican. I just Speak my fucking opinion. Um, I fuck both parties, to be honest with you. That's just my opinion, you know, because both of them is dirty. And, you know, the Democrats figure they got the black vote in their pocket, so they don't do everything. They do just enough to just enough to get a brother vote. <laughs> you know, they do just enough. And we, once again, like I've always said, we fall for the banana in the tailpipe, you know, habitually. And because remember when the shit the shit was flipped because the Republicans back in the day was back more the for for the colored folks, yes, yeah, for the African American, and the Democrats is the Klan. But yeah. now it's switched in the mirror. They just was like, hey, tag, let's roll reverse. It was, they did the Tomax and Zaymon from GI Joe, and people we fell for it. When they, it was just like when they had that what was, what was it Prop eighty six, uh, whatever Prop it was, and it was saying if you don't want it, say yes. But if you do want it, and motherfuckers you know, was confused, and hella confused, everybody was hey, voting the wrong side, way. Side talk, you know. I'm, I'm just saying, like, it, it's, it's, a, it's a fucking plan, you know, and, and the plan is talking. working. They doing it. Side talking. See you all tuning in. Y'all tuning in. I uh, see it's a few of y'all. Say what's happening. Chime in so I can shout you out. You know, I appreciate y'all tuning in. We just, you know, we don't have no format tonight. We just basically sitting here chopping it up, whatever. Y'all got something y'all want us to chime in on? I got a few things I probably will bring up, but you know, this is you know, every life every every Friday is a free is added. You know, we don't pre write nothing, it ain't nothing pre recorded. We just sit here, sip on some of the good shit. Good shit. Good <laughs> shit and and, hey, boy, and talk shit. That, you know, I used to not like I, I stopped drinking brown for a long time. Yeah, I got you back on as time. Mm -hmm. Like I haven't been I, I wasn't drinking Hennessy for maybe the past. Hennessy is for niggas. It really is. But you know, oh, I think regular this, Hennessy. Wait, wait. But you know what I'm saying? This is the worst part about it. Now I remember back when I was a technician. Yeah, back in the day. And that. every Friday, yeah, get off. Mm -hmm. Go get a fifth. Do five. Do five. Do five. Mm -hmm. I just recently bought me a, a half pint. I had bought a, just a half pint of hen because mm -hmm. I was already drinking some seventeen. Personal. Yeah, nigga. So I bought shit. me a personal. That motherfucker was twenty one ninety nine. Now, I, I, I'm, I'm a vodka man nowadays, and you know I, I don't want to get no cheap vodka. So, but vodka just is not as expensive as Hennessy. Nah, because you got Hennessy. Great. Hennessy case they great. Just, they dog vodka, is so bad, but vodka. Here's they the dog is so bad. I'm just saying. You know, vodka. Hennessy I is, fucks with some vodka, but Hennessy. Here's the thing: now, the Hennessy I drink, I you know, I, I quality over quantity. True. I'll do VSOP. I'll do James Hennessy and some XO or above. Regular Hen. This is just my humble opinion <laughs> and my own. If you like regular Hen, I'm all power to you. Drink that shit all you want. They sell it, niggas gonna buy it. Um, and so I want to hear this break down. <laughs> but this break down and and because I've I've tripped off of when I drink stuff, the reactions. Okay. You know, the the interaction with the body and all that, and regular hand have you just? It's like they put either instant asshole or. It's something in regular Hennessy, and I'm just talking about regular Hennessy. Now I will say the, 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 the thing is just, with Hennessy. When I drink Hennessy, I, I've never been like a violent dude drinking, mm -hmm. but Hennessy would always have me in the wrong places with the wrong people. See, and then having a case of the it's, fuck it. It's a spirit. Like, exactly. I should go home, but fuck, fuck it. it. Exactly. You know what? I probably should leave that alone. Fuck it. Fuck it. Regular hand, but yeah, fuck I, it. I can't drink regular you know, hand. And uh, a little bit to do it. 
So I had to swear off this. I had to leave that thing alone, bro. Yeah. We got company we got a guest again. tonight. Oh, we got... Yeah, like I said, we do this live. Someone's at know. the door. Who is it? <laughs> Hello, how you doing? I'm good, thank you. Another damn paradise. So as y'all see, like I said, it's live. We just yeah, we we, we, we go with the flow, man. Up, we go with but the, the flow. flow is always a, a, a cool. It's a cool it, conversation. You know what now what I will say though is, if you book to come on this shit, don't waste <laughs> our time. Because, I mean, we open for everybody, but people, because we had a couple of people that faked at the last minute, and I don't appreciate that shit. You can waste my money, but don't waste my fucking time. Yeah, you can't get that shit back. I can make money. No, you can't get time back I can't back get time back. Time is, that's why they call it father time. Yeah. You know. So, it, it, how are you? It, it, I'm good you. Ain't this good? Um, What's your name, young lady? Yeah. My name Introduce is Jason Bird. Hey, from the Bay. Okay. Jason. And also Chef Janetta Bird. Oh, I'm you could Chef Janetta Bird. You chefing? Yes, yes you I am. You do a cook on? I get, I'm getting my cook on. Oh, shit. Oh. What's yeah. your specialty? Um, seafood. Oh, yeah, seafood okay. Seafood is my specialty. Tell me, tell me a dish. Um, I kind of like a king crab oil. Okay. Mm. And I also make barbecue salmon that Ooh. a lot of people gave me a lot of positive feedback. Barbecue on. salmon. Barbecue salmon. I love salmon. Do you? I, I love, love your salmon. glasses. Oh, y'all pronounce yeah. the shit. <laughs> you right Salmon is the shit. I love salmon. Get your cup in. Oh, oh, this is my cup. Yeah, this is these. This is we for got pre poured. Oh, yeah. oh pre poured. Okay. Yeah, do we do a toast? We did, but we can do another. Okay. What are we toasting? Happy to? Friday. So, Happy Friday. And, and being black. longevity and uh, being black prosperity and, and kind of nigga. Oh, I love it. Do we do have there fun? There we go. All right. Hey. All right. So keep it pushing, so, man. For two top two, 2020, nigga. 2020 is all bad. 2020. Fuck, 20, I'm, hey, I can't it's wait for 45 to be gone and 2020 to be gone. Right. Ooh. Double up. Hey, right now, hey, everybody feel like remember when you was 20 and you was like, I can't wait to be 21. That's how motherfuckers feel about 2020. I can't wait to 21. Right. Because this shit is a bad dream. Ooh. This this shit was like she blowing your socks off and about to go and she get up and run. Ooh. <laughs> well, it's just okay. fucked up. Ooh. I heard the hell out of that. It's fucked okay. up. It's it's not right. Hmm. It's so not it's right. Jason Bird. Yes. What, tell, yeah. Tell us Breeze, about, I caught tell, that. Tell the people about us. I mean, uh, uh, about you. Well, I am from the Bay Area. I do music. Okay. I also, okay. like I said, I'm a contracted chef. Okay. Um, I give back to my community. Mm -hmm. I'm a hands-on type of person. I'm always interested in experiencing new things and taking on new tasks. So that's basically, that's, that's where I'm at with it. Yep. Where are your whereabouts in the Bay Area? Um, I'm everywhere. Okay. Like, if you look me up, you can find me on YouTube. You can find me on SoundCloud. I got that's some new up. music. Um, I dropped a book that's on Barnes & Noble. Oh, and artist, also, chef, yeah. uh, that's, 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 that's singing. Shit. Get the hey, get hey, streams of income. That's what it's about. Yeah, man. Exactly. You can't tell me that you can't do anything you want. You know. That's right. Hey. Yeah, that that is right. If, if anything less is an excuse. Oh wow! And we sit up here with this good liquor. <laughs> oh yeah, we don't oh, drink you know, bullshit. Yeah. We I'm not drink allowed. <laughs> we, drink, we drink good shit here. Oh shit! This this is, nice that, and smooth. I'll tell you off top. We like, drink good like shit. This is a Hennessy Confessional. This cognac. Cognac. Confession. Yeah, cognac. Oh shit! No. I mean, shoot. Sorry. No, we can't. Oh, fuck. Oh, we can't. Fuck. This is free. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, you say? You in you in oh. you in United States of the show? Oh, shit. We talk. We talk. I'm hella cool. Hella cool. We talk. We talk. You know, free form. This this is this is. Taking it, we kicks it. Are we gonna go? So what's what's going on in the world right now, bro? What's so uh, what's the, the cover with? people, uh, Hernandez Bree said about Kanye. So I'm looking in the comments. So Kanye, I'm a, I'm gonna just you that motherfucker. Once again, this is just my opinion. If you don't like it, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but Kanye is a brilliant asshole, and. <laughs> A fucking puppet. Definitely a puppet. Definitely his, a puppet. His whole shit is some bullshit. And he, and once again, niggas fall for the banana in the tailpipe. Exactly. Yeah. You know, yeah, he, he came out with some some. Don't get me wrong. You, it's a thin line between genius and insanity. Insanity. Yeah. Exactly. It's a very thin line. Very thin line. Most, I know. I know. I know this. Yeah. Most geniuses are insane. I know this. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I do know this. Fucking crazy. But you know, he came out with some shit, 
And it's like he took both of the pills right, at the right. Matrix at the same time. <laughs> so he come out with his shit, had his, you know, sabbatical, whatever the fuck, disappear rants. Then he came back with the church shit and the Sunday service. And niggas, yeah, and I mean you niggas, uh, gravitated to that shit. You know, once, because once, when people come, it's like when people go to jail. I've seen this. When, and this is exactly, Reese, mental illness. And and the church is a fucking mental illness. I said it. Ooh. So, Ooh. the thing is. He said it was nice. Deep? Because I'm going to go there. And they, I'm going right. to just keep it 100. Take it there then. I'm just going to keep it 100. Just, and this is just my opinion, my humble opinion on some things and looking from the outside. No, same thing when people go to jail. They come out. Not saying everybody, but I've noticed people coming to jail, they come out professing, you know, this religion and I'm this and oh yeah, and start doing, but then they go right back to the whatever, whatever. And people gravitate to that shit. It's like the carrot in front of the horse. And you, oh yeah. And so he came out with his Sunday service. Everybody is, oh yeah, Kanye back. Yeah, yeah. And then he turned right around with this bullshit he on. Every time. Uh, okay, so... You know, I I was a fan of Kanye back. You know, I was way a back fan then, too. You know what I'm I was too. I can't speak. I, 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 I can't say I, that. I, I used to love hearing Jay Z shout out. You know, Kanye, you did it again. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but uh, I guess as time passed, and they say fucking with them Kardashians, man. Mm -hmm. you know, Fuck them yeah. Yeah. yeah, man. When they put them things yeah. up in you, man. Get out. It just, it, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like a curse. Now he, everybody can say fuck a curse, but once you end the curse, nigga, you, it you takes can't get out. You know, and so it, with that said, again, yeah. I think this motherfucker, he, you know, he's he, he's part of this whole little cycle, man. I mean, and what if no, just what what if the puppet master said, let's let's get the puppet on on board? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Like think for about real, it. for real. Think about it. And people, everybody got a price. I don't give a damn, damn who I'm you are. I'm just saying, and it's just once again, my depending on opinion. the situation, though, everybody got a price. It, it don't have to be money. And when I say everybody got a price, I ain't saying it got to be money. <laughs> well, it don't have to be money. Yeah, everybody got a price. On one, man. And you look at the you you used to you, know, you getting brought into all these different parties now. You you came yeah, up and you 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 going to the eyes wide shut parties. Now, yeah. you go into all these, you know, these these exclusive need, areas and it's some people. something that you ain't never been in before when in your humble beginnings. Exactly. And they so say, now, Sarky, come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come here, bro. I need you to do something for me, sir. I mean, I it's get it. It's not like back in the day, um, but it is kind of back, um, like back in the day. Come on here, Dyke Nabbit. Nah, but everybody don't have a price. I do believe that. I'm sorry, sister. Oh, I'm, a, I'm sorry, brother. Mm -hmm. They no, don't. You, no, you can disagree, but I'm, I'm going to give you an example. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you a question. Do you have children? I do. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a question. Somebody tell you right now, I got a gun pointed to your kid's head. I will kill your kids. If you don't do A, B, or C, what are you going to do? I'm going to do it, but that's what I'm saying, that's depending the on the situation. That's, that's, that's all I right. mean. But I'm not saying, like I said, I'm not saying money. It don't have to be money. Mm -hmm. Everybody has a price. Everybody does. We yeah. all do. It just depends on what you're willing to sacrifice for that price. Exactly. And the reason why I say that is because a lot of people may get that confused. Like, mm -hmm. everybody yeah, got I a price. Right. And they may right. put that that's in. Why that's in that's why I said it's not, yeah. it's not about specifically money. money. Yeah, it's not yeah. about it's money. Not, it's, I'm not saying money. You know, Some you know, people it is. Don King. What time is Don King? Chilling. Mm -hmm. That's this Pharaoh yeah. talking in the back. He need yeah. to be over here mm -hmm. so he can be seen. He's been bullshitting. But to the thing, what I was saying. Go ahead. Don King told me. One time, Don King told me that literally, because I asked him how he do it, and he said, man, that what he does is he can hey, Ronnie. these swivers, and most of them used to have a profile. They didn't have a father, this and that. And even though they strong niggas and they knocking everybody out like Mike Tyson, right. they still got a vulnerable spot where of they know yeah, still a little boy. So he said what he does, he comes in and fills the father figure role, right. and then he shames them because right. he literally comes in and signs them for less money for pennies on a dollar than what they could have made somewhere else and then he even cheats him out of that exactly. and he's like so but, but the here. price that he gets himself for Hush. is that 
So Mario he becomes their father. Uh huh. Mm. And then he robs him. So I guess it's pretty much the same thing like Baby and Lil Wayne. He was yeah. the boy his son and this and that. Yeah. Cheating the boy like crazy. Because so you know, I just saying, like you said, so it's a full agreement. The price ain't got, always money. The price ain't always money. It's love, it's love it's affection, it's ego. Sometimes it's family. I can do things for somebody it's that you care friends. about, but you, you got, got to do what I want. Exactly. exactly. You got you got motherfuckers that's ego, pride. You got you got motherfuckers who, like you said, attention, the limelight. You got these motherfuckers with these OnlyFans thinking they fucking runway models right now. You got. <laughs> so much shit going on social media than willing to compromise all more. All never more. paid for nothing. Um, that's tricking. I'm sorry. I never yeah. paid for nothing. I'll, I'll see your. Sh- I'll see your shit in the mess For paying for, for like for what? Like if you meet for somebody. Pictures. Oh, pictures. Or whatever the content. Oh, no. Don't I'm just get me wrong. Wait. I fully support OnlyFans. Ain't nobody here. I think every. I think every woman with brains. Farrell, you need to be on camera. You're gonna be talking, Farrell. Get your ass over here. I'm good. I'm good. Get your ass over here. Talking from over here. To say, I fully <laughs> hey, yeah, Ron, you know, talking like, local. like I wouldn't support it myself, spending money because <laughs> don't get me trick. Uh-huh. But support it. But if a woman looks good and she out is oh, and there's a and there's a sucker that's willing to put in this credit card to say, oh, I appreciate you for being beautiful. Do you? Shit, I respect, Brother, you that, I respect it. Like if, if a woman came to me and be like, but hey, what would you think if I went did OnlyFans? I'll be thinking, and I'll say to her, yeah. I'm thinking, why aren't you doing it instead of talking to me? You yeah. waste your time talking but, to me. You should be doing it. And and the thing is, and anybody that look down on you ain't got nothing on near one of your bills. I, I ain't one to yeah. cast no stone. I totally agree. I ain't agree. perfect. I'm close to it, but I ain't. But the thing is, the only fans I laugh at it because it's funny, and it just goes to show you the level of tricking Trick, that trick. goes on in the world. Oh, exactly. Exactly. that's the flip side. I'm, I'm not mad I'm at the women. The women to do it, but because I don't understand you do. You do provide because one now. Here the thing do. is, you got because all right. Like let's look at the porn industry. You know, as once again, it's free flowing conversation. Oh, I need to like, jump in. Go for it. I'm saying this is this oh, is chime in. Well, let's listen yeah, to yeah. it. I'm finna tell you oh, something. Well, okay, so, go ahead. Right look down. at the yeah. Say yes, yes. what you feel. So look. You got the porn industry, right? And then you have where the women get paid way more than us men, and the men. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I can tell you, blood. They only want to give us. Yeah, yeah, you know, you get, you, yeah. That's so all I heard. Dudes is only getting <laughs> ibbles. Dudes is only getting ibbles. The women is getting, getting the and they got to, you know, they got power or whatever. But now with this OnlyFans, and this is just my thought they process. Play the out the mix. The they didn't cut the middleman out. Because the porn industry is a multi-billion dollar industry. They don't even need me no more. I was, I was they sitting there doing sit-ups. They don't even need me. They don't need me. Shit, you done, you done, women you done got rich. You wealthy. But in you defense good. to that, I would say, like for instance, with OnlyFans, I respect the people who's going on there because any type of hustle that you have, I respect it. If you can, th- let's get let's give a toast on that. Yeah, anybody, any anybody who got any hustle where you can get somebody paying, you you, then go ahead. But yeah. then, on the same screen, the let me say on the flip side, I as far as men, but I don't respect the victim. Yeah, say like yeah, if you was a man who you've been in trouble a lot of times for cheating on your girl, and now you found somebody who you love, mm-hmm. and you a highly sexual person, mm-hmm. maybe you don't want to go out there and cheat. So therefore, the next thing you know is to pay and maybe jack off or you know get yours okay. and go. So maybe you doing it for a reason. So therefore, it ain't tricking all the time. Okay. And then it's again, it's when it's a, well, like okay, but <laughs> then again, in a tricking category, I feel mm-hmm. as a woman, like for instance, I'm not out there like that. I'm not selling yeah. myself. But I guess in some kind of sense, all women and sold they sell before. Like as far as if a man did <laughs> nice things, but right, 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 right. if you meet somebody right. you love or somebody not even you love when you meet them, if you meet somebody who connects with you, you connect with and yeah. you got that vibe or whatever, what's wrong with doing nice things for them? Because no, like for no, me, that's that's if I meet you, yeah, yeah, but that's, yeah, that's, that's a that's connection. Not, but that's a connection. But same like if you see somebody the on the intent behind. Okay, yeah. so, the, so listen, the, so listen, so listen. I, I, I get, I hear y'all going ahead, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna let me just play devil's advocate. I hear okay. Y'all. Oh yeah. 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 Motherfucking kudos Satan. to the motherfucker that's working, but the motherfucker that's paying. You know, you a mark, you a trick, you a trick, you a trick. You a but you not nah. first. You not. But nah. in the same first, <laughs> you made up in no. your mind. Okay. That <laughs> don't be trying to stalk the chick though. Let Ooh. her, let her live. If you made up in your mind 
that this is what you want to do. You, you, More power you to you. Gone ahead and inspired for other things, or you haven't went ahead and said, "Oh, you know, no, no, you finish. Go ahead, no, you no, know, no, I'm green. And with then you. you know, a label, a, a label comes your way. You Don't know, uh, so, some someone says, "Oh, well, we label you as X, Y, and Z," and you get mad or you feel like you're being offended. But you know, nigga, if the shoe fits, wear it. For the same, the same thing for the victim. Mm -hmm. You know, the victim. Oh, you know, you a trick. Well, you know, you, 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 you I mean, I, I don't want to say tricking to a hoe, but you tricking to a, a attention seeker, a, 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 a person that's got some a, real deep rooted issues. To right. go ahead, you butt naked, you butt naked for the world to see on a consistent yeah. basis. You alter your body. Oh wow, that's you, another you subject. Know, Hold on. I'm just saying, you oh, do, you do don't get things. me wrong. I celebrate that. Just do you? Yeah, hey, I, mean, I like I, it. I love. I love a natural. You? you know what I'm saying? I love. I like natural. Natural. like this. If we'll she, would, if, if she's the type of woman who, if you said, "Hey, I ain't got a dime to my name," and she said, "Well, that's all right. We got to do. We ain't got to do nothing. I'll come over there and watch TV with you." When you do get your weight up, mm -hmm. you need to do for her, and that oh, ain't that's for sure. because that's somebody who would fuck with you regardless. Yeah, you got it. But if she's the type of woman that'd be like, "Oh, okay. Well, hit me when you get paid. Hit me when you got some bread. Or hit me when you're ready to take me somewhere." <laughs> Uh -huh. And then you do that, and the only way you get attention from her is due to spending. You're that's tricking. Trick. You're that's a trick. And that's You're what I mean. Like for instance, yeah, yeah, a lot of men. This what they think. This what I say. It's they true. Me they, think anything yeah. they do is tricking. Right. That's not true. Because if it's your uh -huh. woman, no, or somebody that would fuck with you regardless, or somebody y'all got a connection. And you got it. It's spoiler. I'll, I'll but a lot of females feel not to cut you off. Feel this type of way is because like what I noticed with history repeating itself and me just experience stuff hands on. Like with my book, I wrote a lot of stuff based on the fact of what I seen mm -hmm. and also experience I went through. Like you can be good to a man, you can give your all to him, you can do everything you can for him, and they'll sit up there and make it to a certain level. And instead of looking out for you, they'll go on to the next who's not giving them as much problems, but. You didn't experience. True. You experienced way more problems because they wasn't where they wanted to be, and True. that comes for when you put your guard up. Like, well, why am I gonna waste time with a man who who I thought was the man for me mm -hmm. and wasn't, and did all these things, and now hurted me in this way? So when I get with the next man, it's like, you need to show me something before I give something, okay, and I get, I get it. But at the same time, I be like, sometimes I'm like, I'm the type of person I have my own. I don't need nothing from you unless. The only thing I want from you is love, devotion, dedication, respect, you know, honesty, whatever that is on whatever type of level. But do you articulate that, is. that to the man? I always I'm articulate sure that to a man because like I'm well-spoken, okay. but I'm also submissive if it comes to the man that I love, you know. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. like I need... um I get it both ways because I'm like, it is a lot of women out there who haven't been through nothing and they thinking, oh, I look good, so you finna pay me. But you ain't worth nothing. So what am I paying you for? You don't have no education, and not even just on a school basis, but no education as far as no intake on life. You out here, you you don't even keep your hygiene clean. You don't you don't even know how to deal with the situation if you're dealing with a real man. You out here jumping from man to man, thinking who gonna pay you. You looking at what somebody else got, and that don't have nothing to do with who the person is. And it's like now you sitting up here like, oh, somebody needs to pay me. So that is tricking because you see her, you think she's beautiful, and yeah. that's all you see. So I I'll give you a quick example, real fast. Go for it. I went ahead and complimented a woman on her story, on her Facebook story. Mm -hmm. I just, I said, you know, pretty, or, or you know, I, I complimented her. Mm -hmm. And she immediately, well, not maybe not immediately, but her response to my compliment was, you know, here's my fans only, subscribe, kick in. Mm. And I said to her, That's, you know, I, yeah, no, no. And I said Dude, to her, I said, she, well, you know, I'm out her pockets. I, I said, you know, I, I definitely won't yeah, do she that. Me a little bit, she's though. about her shit. She was like, the motherfucker, kick in. Uh, yeah, kick, kicks the fuck in. She was like uh, the chick on uh, P Valley, Mercedes. And my Ooh. thing is, I said to her, uh, P I was in the Valley talking. where the girls get naked. And <laughs> <laughs> P Valley go. It's okay, uh, nigga. But all I did was compliment her. I, I told you, I told her, mm -hmm. all I'm doing is complimenting you. You know, I don't, I don't trick. I don't, I don't yeah, pay. I'm, I'm, and she. Immediately flashed on me. Oh, oh, don't don't ever do that. Or yeah. stay out my fucking DM. And I'm like, whoa. You know, women. That's the sad part because mm -hmm. of this whole so industry. Because right. of this whole, you know, women have gotten to a whole. Be, be, and because they get paid more and they bossing up, they they're, they're at a cockiness right now. That's 
you know, keeping them single, right. got the whole, you know, I take your man and your bro, all this shit going on. It's, women run the world. I'm, 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 I'm a dude. I love blooded. women. I love women. I love women, but I mean, I don't love all women. women. Like women. Yeah. What they? Like all types of women, you I love. Do. I do. I love all types. Okay. Of women. I think. Is shit. I think. I wanna. I wanna try to see something beautiful in every woman, not because just of her looks. I mean, like some women are beautiful on the outside, I like brains. On the inside. Tenacity, Some women are ugly on the uh, ugly on the inside, inside and, and beautiful on the outside. outside. I mean, like you know, I agree. Like, yeah. you know, and That's then, some sour patch kid bitches. Life molds a person at the same time yeah. too. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Life can hurt. Life can make you start, you know, getting to a place. But in the same verse, if you want to say I want love, then nigga, you can't be like, oh. You know, you can't compliment me unless you pay me nine nine. You know, yeah, that's a not at all. You didn't do that. I ain't, I ain't you no can't compliment that. me if you don't kick well, in, nigga. That's, that's, that's your customer. I'm sorry, yeah. To compliment your punk ass? I'm sorry, yeah, your punk ass. Maybe she seasoned you a but little more. But see, well, that you that just don't need to season it. No, no offense, no offense taken because the thing is, I'm not in the caliber of a lot of women. Like my mind frame and everything is different. So okay, look, hey, pop it for me. I'm, I feel like I, I think a different kind of way. I feel like that I am a certain type of woman. So certain women, like, I'm not better than nobody. But I also mm. be thinking, like, how could you ever think that way? Or, you know, like, for instance, I don't, like, I'm not chasing a bag because the only bag I'm chasing is the bag I'm getting my own. So it's like, if you, like, for instance, if you in a situation where you have kids and you have no other alternatives to turn to and you trying to do what you have to do, then thumbs up to you. Kudos. But if you just out here ignorant and just out here giving it up to anybody and lost in life mm-hmm. and don't know and you trying to charge somebody, you might be charging the wrong person or whatever who really into you and you getting at them in a certain type of way like they a trick and really they a real man who True. could help you. You know. You gotta look, but then you got to be able to have it. And this is one thing that a lot of people lack, male and female, mm-hmm. is critical thinking. Exactly. And thinking in the context. Mm-hmm. You know, if you just treat everybody like, oh, you're a trick. Or if you're a dude, you treat everybody like yeah, oh, you're a bop. Yeah, oh, wow. you don't do that. You miss. You don't miss out. So you got to be able to develop the critical thinking skills to be able to assess people and pay exactly them accordingly. Yep. And, and pay attention you know, to the details and the small signs and the like red flags. King, and sometimes they be having straight clowns. Yeah. yeah. Sitting on king status, and I know some women who don't know how to talk to nobody. And they got real kings. They talking to them crazy. Yeah, like mm-hmm. you talking like the person. clown. Yeah. Like I got yeah. young partners. Damn it, one of my young partners the other day was, yeah, I'm telling you your business blood if you watch it. Uh, uh, no dragging his girl across the parking lot and had to go stop him and be like, dude, blood. You we don't condone do violence here. against women. You ain't women. really got a lot of family support. You ain't got no family support. We don't, we don't condone up. violence against women. And that girl women. really loves yeah, you. No, no way, Treat shape, her accordingly, or man, because that's one that could be with you for life. She really loves you, bud. So that's what I'm saying. So it go both ways. But not to cut you off, yeah. a lot of males that I know this don't have a lot of male guidance to teach them how to True. treat a lady. So True. therefore, they don't know. They just lost. True. And don't get me wrong. You like somebody for not knowing what they don't Yeah. Know. And then when you don't know, you all here ignorant to the fact of how to treat someone. Like, for instance, if a woman yeah. get out of line with you, disrespect you, you think, let me square up and beat her down because I'm stronger yeah. than her. But then not even just saying that you're not a real man. It's a lot of men who people say you're not a real man. It's because they never was taught to be a real man. They never had a male I guidance. Agree with you on and that. you all here, if you a man, especially a black male, mm-hmm. you all here on your own. Nobody taught you. You got a, ma- a mother figure, and not all mother figures is good mother figures. Oh no, this they is a lot are, of screwed up kids yeah. because the mama was a bitch. I'm yeah, sorry. and then the father wasn't there, and then the mother was a bitch. So therefore, yeah. you have this outcast in the world that's not treating women right, and you wondering what's going on. But the thing is. A child didn't ask to be here. They wasn't under the proper guidance. So now they all here lost and they treating women however. Of course, they may have a woman that loved them, but they don't know how to treat her because they didn't know how to be treated. And so that's why I say you got when, of course, what he said, you got to deal with people accordingly. And accordingly Mm -hmm. means also you also got to be take responsibility of the situation you get yourself into. Because I also believe like. In the beginning, you see signs, but because certain people be attracted or like certain people, they ignore them. Exactly, you see the ass. Yeah. You see, you see. Hey, and then I'm gonna I'm I'm get, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get. I ain't gonna go extra graphic, but just speaking, being devil's advocate, as I usually put play on this show. Oh shit. Nah, I'm gonna go extra graphic. You get mesmerized by the situation, to where. You know, you all the red flags on both sides. So I'm I'm not being gender specific. So exactly. I don't want women to think I'm bashing women because I don't bash women. Uh, 
I'm just saying, we've all missed the signs because it's, oh, she look good, he look mm -hmm. good, they look good next to me. Ooh, we got hella likes on our picture together. And, oh, this motherfucker take me here, there, and there. Yeah, it, it, motherfuckers live for likes. Not only that, it it may be, for likes. somebody may be going through something with their significant other, and because their significant other is on their ass and com coming down on them because of the actions that they're doing, so they go find... Um, love elsewhere that they think so because they feel that's the easy way where I don't have to hear it or I don't have to get complained on because I'm doing this. You know, this person don't know me. Well, yeah, but it takes the emotional intelligence to sit back and read. Well, the thing is, you exactly. gotta analyze Never everything. <laughs> you gotta analyze, and, and we, we, I'm just saying we, as a whole. He I'm ain't French. He's saying we. We, we, we. We, <laughs> we. we. Us. <laughs> people, for, people fail to analyze everything properly as a whole and I'm blanket statement so you know I ain't did no case studies what I have on some things but I ain't gonna go into that yeah. another show. Yeah, um, we people tend to jump from relationship to relationship and the right race exactly the failure people don't know how to properly communicate wants desires needs uh, boundaries sometimes exactly. and because of how people were raised we may not know how to effectively notice mm -hmm. boundaries, mm -hmm. needs, wants, and how to um, communicate agree. that to your person you're interested in. I can sit there and just to to your point, you said, "Oh, they, they just don't know me." Yeah, you could be with somebody and you figure you've been with me for hella long. You need to know me. If you don't know me, remember, if you don't know me by now, that shit. But you ain't never really communicated that shit to your person. Does Candace, does Candace usually just assume that the person Candace, should what know do you her do? or does she Candace. articulate it? Who's Candace? What Candace, 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 Candace. Oh, Candace. What do you do, Candace? What do you, what do you oh, say? Candace, well, but you we welcome fine. Candace to, to the show. She's a multiple guest welcome on the Candace. show, multiple time guest. Welcome, on the Candace. Show. Give us your, your, your show. Hey, Candace. Hey. Well, give us your real opinion. <laughs> you better speak up, girl. Uh, I'm sorry, what was shit. the question again? Oh, shoot. Look. <laughs> see, back the also, <laughs> see, when people <laughs> fail to communicate, really they good. also fail to listen. Stop. No, I'm just playing. No, I'm just playing. Nah, um, what was the question, Pete? Give it to her. The question was... Do you uh, treat everyone accordingly? Do you give a person time to know you, or do you expect them to kind of know you by feel? And we mean in regards to I in a relationship. I expect someone to, um, what is it, get to know me, and not by feel, but just get to know me, get to know me, ask me questions. Can I ask I a question to the group? Yes. Go ahead. What's, what's a, a, a decent amount of time to really get to know a person? A year. Um, in that year, are you? Now, now my fuck is gonna try real hard. Like, you know, women don't fart around men, don't take shit around men, but we oh. know they do. Ooh. We know they do. Yep, they do. But in the same verse, you know, it, is a nigga gonna let a motherfucker see him at their lowest? You know, I, when 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 they at that point where it's like, nigga, I don't know what to do. You know, the condition, you know, never. I need your help. Never. But, and the now, I'm super, like, God, I'm super sure. yeah. all the time. God willing, we they do that. God willing, they do that. But, I'm can, I'm you know, because again, I, I believe I, I agree with you. It does take a, a year. It, it might does. Take yeah. more. It yeah. really might take more, oh, though. Never. Because I think to get to know a person, you gotta really pay attention too. You do because I'm always, so I'm get, always saying don't get digmatized. Uh, <laughs> right, that's what people do. I swear. Oh my God, you hit it right on point. But go I ahead. Think you have to even realize at some point you may even hate this motherfucker. For a day. <laughs> exactly. Just for a day, hopefully not for a week. I'm always but at least a couple man. of days. You like nigga, I can't stand when I'm not Superman and lift. You know what I mean? If I hate him a little bit because you know I mean this motherfucker's in your life every day. You wake up, go to sleep, smell their breath, they they morning breath. You know, watch them do that, do do the thing, they pick the toenails, anything. You know what I'm saying? You gotta watch the motherfucker do that, and that's what you're gonna live with. Exactly. So I'm just saying. about that type of shit. How long does it really take to know a motherfucker? I'm going to say, I'm, I, I hear y'all with the year, but what I'm going to say is 
sure I don't have a. I don't say. I don't think there's a limit because. But what's a good? What's a good time? I mean, like it depends on the individual person, both parties, because, and in my assessment of it, what people should be doing, you should be constantly growing. Exactly. In some in some form or fashion. Now, like Reese said, communication is key. I may be we dating in 2020. You meet me. I'm at this level of my 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 existence. 2021. I may have gone through some things with it with six weeks, six months, nine months, whatever that have change my world views, my personal views, my spiritual views, if I was a religious cheap, those views, you know, to where I may have been started this way, but then I've turned this way. Mm -hmm. And another thing about that is, which you need to pay attention to those things that had a communication, but also, most of the times when you meet somebody, male or female, you meet their representative first before you yeah. ever meet them. Oh, yeah. I'm just keeping a hundred. And who's that representative? The May motherfucker I... they want you to think they is. Mm -hmm. Oh, you exactly. meet that representative. You meet the representative first. Mm -hmm. Basically, you just gotta sit back and listen to how they talk. And but you I know what? I'm not trying to be funny. To I'm saying like at that. times you will never it, know somebody. That is true. Really deception, deceptive, mm -hmm. and deceiving. Because not trying to be funny, oh, like yeah. with. People can be really deceptive. Like, when people get with Very. you, they put their best foot forward. I'm so talking about, like, it. you can know somebody, yeah. like, for instance, somebody, as I said again, may be in a relationship, and they may mm -hmm. leave that relationship because of it's too hectic for them because the person know them, and they're on their ass for certain reasons. Mm -hmm. And they may yeah. get with somebody else who's accepting to them, who's treating them like a kid. Them... And they only know that because you're giving them everything, your best foot forward. And then it's like everybody is like, oh, I mean, the person is like, oh, I love him. I'm willing to put up with whatever. Mm -hmm. Not even knowing that the situation they was in, they was horrible. And it wasn't because mm -hmm. of you. And then a lot of things, uh, another thing I want to say is, Females who put up with a lot, some people say you have low self-esteem. And I don't always yeah. agree with that. Mm -hmm. I feel that sometimes you have high self-esteem and you love yourself enough that you can love somebody else. True. And also, mm -hmm. you look at somebody, like for instance, with me. I have very high self-esteem. I was taught that from the birth. I had a daddy who loved me, a mama who loved me. Mm -hmm. My daddy was always around. He treated me like queen. He would go bring me flowers and my mama and be like, and my sister and be like, you two are beautiful. So I had a daddy's love. Mm -hmm. And so therefore, I know how to treat a man. My mama treated my father good. So mm -hmm. I saw both sides and aspects. My father and my mother went through stuff, but my mother still mm -hmm. stood strong. Mm -hmm. And through it all, my dad still guy. held it down and my mother still yeah. treated him holy. So it's wow. like, I get that. But at mm -hmm. the same time, and to me, I be feeling like sometimes it's a flaw because people come along and they accept that a treatment and they don't deserve it. But in the same sense, I feel that I have so much high self-esteem that I'm able to love somebody who don't love themselves because it's like anything you do is not reflecting against me because I love myself, but I was able to love you and see through your flaws. What do they call those kind of people? It's not an empath. Codependent. Dependent. Or, uh, yeah, codependent. Code like they, 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 again, if a, if a person doesn't love themselves, uh -huh. honestly, that's a that's like a that's a the, the person that does love is an uphill yeah. an uphill battle like mm -hmm. with a wheel bill right next to him and be like oh fuck that wheel bill yes I'm just gonna keep pushing this rock yes right. so you you putting obviously more energy into something that again the other person has to come to grips with and deal for themselves uh, a person has and no, no offense to what you're saying no, a no, person no. has to learn how to love themselves yeah you, you start with self love right. self is such a important thing in life you. because again you oh, know fuck you can't expect anyone to love you uh, if you can't love yourself yeah. you, you know they may love you but in the same verse you won't know they will learn it. about you they will come to know the person that you are they will put more energy than what Sometimes it's humanly possible, and I'm not going to say every time, mm -hmm. but it's still, unfortunately, in the long run, it builds for resent. So, well, Anita, you know, you people got to be able to feed off of each other. Mm -hmm. They got to be able to, you know, yeah, you, bounce that, you know, I, I was going to actually, bring, pong, I was going to bring that up earlier, man. You know, um, they say there's someone for everybody. Mm -hmm. We on the earth of nine billion, maybe mm -hmm. ten billion. There's, there's a exactly. minimum. You know what I'm saying? Hey, to your point on that, and this is my strong belief, and I'm married. I don't give a fuck. I'm just telling you. I believe there is a minimum of three perfect matches for every person. Hmm. Three. 
That's, that's, and you're that's lucky serious. if you meet optimistic. him. That, I, I believe that's that. Optimistic. Wholehearted. It is. I agree. It is. But I'm wholehearted. I'm mad at it. I think I'm actually, I, I, I almost appreciate it here. I Minimum do, of do, three. Near optimistic. Minimum of three. Because a lot of us may never need, may never leave the country. We and may, we may never leave to see what the fuck is is offered elsewhere. Yeah. And, to find and, out what is out there. And, and with that being said, you meet them at different stages of your life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's always the perfect person for you at this certain stage of your life, mm -hmm. if you're paying attention. And on top of that, to, to back me up again, you might meet the wrong motherfucker. Oh, yeah. that, that, we've all done that. it might take a minute for you to find out that you done True. met the wrong motherfucker. But it might feel so you know good, though. Because you... And, and, and feel good... Circumstances. Go ahead and make a motherfucker go, woo, woo, but you gotta woo, go ahead and say, hey, you know, you can't keep you woo, doing woo, it. You, know, woo. you gotta know when to hold them and know when to fold them. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Change them cards I in. Think, Cash me out, I, coach. I, I, think, I think, you know, folks don't even think about that, man. I mean, the insecurities of a motherfucker may be hidden for a long time mm -hmm. and then they come out and right. they, 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 they come out and they come out with the vengeance exactly. and then they run a motherfucker away and people don't even you know men and women mm -hmm. I'll say men and women don't pay attention to that it's such we an don't. important thing to realize We're not you know that. a motherfucker that screams oh I give no fucks gives the give most the fucks, most yeah. fucks. Mm -hmm. gives the most fucks mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know um, they just go ahead and try to, you know, yeah, they're gonna cry in the car. Yep. It's called yeah. a mask. They're gonna cry in the car. It's that representative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's the image. Because here's the thing. And, you know, remember Sprite was, what, thir obey your thirst, image is nothing? Mm -hmm. People are stuck on the image. Can you, there's your mic. Can't hear me? Put, his, yeah, they put that mic fine. over there. Right. Here's so, your mic. I didn't know the mic was on this time. There is. <laughs> Keep going. You so, we, uh, we caught up in this image. There you go. There you go. That's your you mic. Know, I have sorry. to. Thank you, and, and for us males, you know, cool. it's, I'm not going to say it's I harder say. than females. What a, what a I, I'm not comparing because I'm not going to compare because I don't My know what tech. it's like to be on and I never will. Mm. I can only, uh, let me think the word I'm trying to use. Assume? Nah, because assume is ass you and me. me. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Um, emphasize, empathy. Em Show empathy. Oh, okay, okay, okay. To okay. the plight of the woman. So, as a man, or male, in the society we live in, that's been shown over and over on repeat because it's like Groundhog's Day with us, is there's no crying, no emotions. You gotta be tough. Mm -hmm. Don't be no punk. Don't be no sissy. Don't be no that's force fed into us so much, so much, mm -hmm. so much, so much to where we bury we bury our feelings behind false bravado. Wow. Well, okay. And I get it. And it's funny because women be looking for that emotional side. You know, they be looking for that You can cry to dudes. I'm going to tell you something. This don't make you no, no, no sissy. Weenie, no sissy. Punk. Yeah, no L7 weenie. Bitch. You can cry in the car. There may be a limit to how long you can cry in the car. You can cry in front of your woman if you got the right oh, woman. Oh, oh, she yeah. she going to hold you down and she going to hug you. If she, she got you, she, she got, got you. Yep, and she know how strong you is. I like respect for me, that. If my man is strong and he's strong in all aspects, when he cry in front of me, that's strength. And I'm going to believe he's been stronger than when he stood up for me. Because. Or, you know. Yeah, I mean, no, no, it's a blessing. If you can cry that. in front of your woman. That's a blessing. And you being emotional. I, 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 I may even joke about the shit in a sense sometimes just to get a quick laugh. But nothing wrong with being in touch with your feelings because that's the problem. People are not in touch with their feelings, and you mask so much behind this. Like you got a grain of sand. I'll, I'll, I'll do the pearl analogy. So have you cried in front of your woman before? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Of course. I've, I've had deep family members past that I was emotional. I wouldn't. Even, I wouldn't. Even, I would, I'll take it. Years. I'll take it even to dealing with okay. the shit that I've dealt with at work, or, yeah. or you know, dealing with regular no, life has brought part. me to tears, See, and I'm, and I've caught cried in front of a woman and been okay with it. I'm not saying I'm finna cry in front of anybody, but I've had m m b periods of emotional distress to where I just I'm wow, you know. It was what it was. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. But, On the flip side, I'm sorry, I'm okay. gonna cut you off, Candace, but. I'm blessed because before before all this COVID shit happened, 
I went to Come well, I was an no. active no. member of a men's group, African American men's group, yeah. and again, it's Shout out like to I said, it's a blessing to the, the black woman she, because she's they, a nurturer, they, because they she's like a carer, because of Mother Nature. You know, that's her purpose. But in the same verse, you know, as black men, we need a, a group. I think it was inspiring watching that Kevin Hart special where it showed he had a crew. He had he had a clique that he can always go to because again you definitely want to be able to talk to your wife you want to be able to communicate with your wife but you want to be able to communicate with people you know what I'm saying and hopefully you have a clique or you have a, a a team that's my better word you have a team that you can go ahead and go to and say hey you know coming from a male's perspective and mm -hmm. I don't want you to just be biased I want you to be constructive with your 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 your, your uh, advice I want you to help me build me to be a better me mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. And we don't think about that sometimes, right? Like we believe, oh, you know, oh, oh, she, oh, fuck that bitch, or you know, oh, you know, did you, did you hit it, you know, or oh, you know, got them draws. <laughs> did you smash my nigga? You know what I'm saying? First thing. <laughs> did you smash? And it's I'm like, you know, <laughs> I mean, keep it to yourself. Sometimes it's like, hey, nigga, did, 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 was you smart about it? You know that bitch crazy. <laughs> Yeah. What, did, right. did, did you stop yourself? Because you know, you, you know her rep. If you you hitting <laughs> some shit right, and I'm once again, I, I ain't gonna be too graphic. But wow, this man. this is a joke. I know, I know you already know. Say, yeah. nigga, I know Don't take your socks say. off. If you take your socks off, y'all falling in love. You gotta leave your socks on. I don't. Huh? I, 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 no, I wouldn't you give it a forty-seven pops. No, 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 I want socks. Just nigga, you take your socks yeah. off. You doing too? No, I'm gonna have to say at some point, my boy over here, he has some. uh he has some strange <laughs> confessionals for the cognac. I, I just be talking on, on the cognac. He has some strange yeah, confessionals. I just be talking but, shit. But uh, in the same verse, <laughs> um, no, you 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 have to be careful, man. I mean, again, one thing I also have learned is you know, is 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 it's almost good to have female friends. Oh yeah. Not almost. Let me rephrase that. No, it is it's good great to have, to have yeah, female, female friends. friends. Friends that you do not do anything with, but you go yeah. ahead and learn. Yes. You learn from you. Gotta you bounce you know, off people. Like. That you and trust. that's what we call insecurity. Uh, you know, you can't help an insecure I, motherfucker. I think it's good that men have, like, you know, other. I think it's good for women, women to have male friends to go ahead. Uh, again, your partner is always gonna tell you you right. Uh -huh. Girl, you right, nigga. You know, bust fuck that, that bitch, nigga. Bust his window. Fuck that motherfucker. You Blow his voicemail up. Don't I keep a bat just for busting windows. Nigga, yeah, I dude, keep a bat. Page, man. Bro, go, go, go ask her why she was doing woo woo woo. What Don't listen to them fools. Busting out windows. Yeah, that's bullshit. But what y'all need to do car is not, that's uh, awesome man. bullshit. You, you know, know, and, 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 and then correct. you might even have a baby oh, seat in the back, car, back seat that's to your baby. Uh, but she said, fuck that. I'm busting windows. Doing some still bust the window. Oh, some bullshit. Still bust some motherfucking windows. Some extra bullshit on some bullshit. Extra right. bullshit on the bullshit. Everybody will be all right. Fuck I'm, it. I am extreme anti-bullshit. I have extreme case of the fuck it. So I'm a drinking hen. Drinking. <laughs> Hmm. I'm drinking here. I didn't drink it. Okay. I, I don't believe in busting my windows because I mean I that's do not that shit. Just do a moving. Go but cry. Go cry in the car. But you know what? Some people ask out of emotion. Go cry in the car. That's all they taught. They was taught. Like for instance, go for cry me, in the car. It Park took that. me a lot to be that type of person. Like my mother was a very strong woman, and but at the same time, oh, my black women. But at oh, the same time, melanated woman is She would do the food. She, oh, and if really? yeah, too much. don't get me wrong, like she was the type who would stand up for her man. She was submissive. She would also stand by her man. But if she felt disrespected and her man wasn't standing by her, then it's like okay. And so I'm not trying to justify that, but the at the same time, when you raising kids, your kids see, see certain that. things, yeah, and even when you try to hide it from them or try to do something behind their back, they see it. Really. And that's what I saw. I so I was a witness to the situation. So therefore, in a lot of cases, where if I'm being a good woman to you and you disrespecting me blankly, and even if I'm expressing myself like trying to communicate and your communication is off because you got something else going on, then I can see how I can drive you to that level, especially if you was taught by certain stuff that wasn't healed from your parents. And so it's like, once again, like if you was a male who didn't have a father, you only learning about what you saw. True. And I'm not justifying it or saying it's okay, but and at the same time... You have to also give a woman credit if she's not doing the things that you've done to her and now she's acting out of emotion and doing these certain things to you. Like, for instance, emotions, 
playing with somebody emotions can get you killed. Yes. And just like people say all the time, like, <laughs> oh, you a fool if you kill somebody. Yeah, you are. But it's a lot of yeah, women and it's a lot of men in jail for dealing much. with emotions because I'm sorry. It's people who kill somebody can, and can I, play, I can be the okay, so can, I, can, I, can I play the devil's advocate? But it'll yes. always be okay. somebody else out in the world. I'm sorry. I just can't see myself. And this is just my personal. Once again, personal opinion of me. A single mother. I'm married, but I'm saying single-minded motherfucker. I don't give a fuck who the individual is or what they doing. I have brought myself to a certain position in life to where... I will bounce. I'm not going to go through that. I can cry in the car. But you can, you got to get to that level, though. Yeah, true. Yeah, Everything exactly. is stages. Like, for it's, instance, you may be further can, along than I, other people. I can cry in the car. And I probably will cry in the car. And get over the shit eventually. But I'm not finna go act a fool and fuck up somebody else's shit. And, and put my freedom in jeopardy because... I make a lot of money. Oh, shit. I get it, but at the same time, that, that comes a I'm lot with... I'm not fucking my shit up. I don't give a fuck. That comes a lot with how you was raised, your upbringing and everything, and how you handle things. Like, yeah. the, some people may be raised wrong, but I'm they sorry. may look at it as an example of, I'm not going to do that fuck shit, or... Grind the car, eat a lot of Okay, 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 okay. Suck it up, buttercup. So, let, me, let, me, let me get back to what I was going to say. Go so, for it. Oh, go you know, ahead. Um, is it... And I... I, I Oh, okay. You go to um, So, <laughs> is it is it more important mm -hmm. to go ahead and stick and stay when you know you're dealing with a unhealthy situation? It's more like the devil you or, know no, versus or, the devil or, you know. Or, or is it healthier to go ahead and take yourself out of the equation? Because again, with, with all of these things that we've said, you know, yeah. um, a motherfucker knows who they are. They know. You know, and as we get older, we learn what we will tolerate, what we won't tolerate, what we will, what we like, what we like, so what we cool. dis dislike. You know, our you know level fives and level tens and all that motherfucking shit. Mm -hmm. But then we also have to realize our imperfections. We 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 might be with the shit from time to time. time you time. know, a motherfucker. Some motherfuckers like to lie. I've kind of really learned to myself. I shouldn't have to lie to anyone at this point. No. Uh, I'm I'm never gonna have a right, belt. Matisse. I'm never gonna have a belt taken to me, or like I'll never go ahead and you know if if I got to fight, nigga, I guess we gonna fight. But nigga, shouldn't I, I shouldn't have to lie to anyone yeah. at this point ever in my life ever again because no one's just that important. Mm. But um, again, yeah. is it you know wh where do y'all where do you ladies uh, uh, think about you know do you stick and stay or do you you cut that person loose that you love? Oh no, I cut them loose. Well, see, I, I've done it. I've got cut, cut this straight off. See, and that's but where with your with your flaws, with your flaws too. I mean, like we got to factor in all the factors, and not to say that you know you wasn't wrong for what you decided, mm -hmm. but yeah, with all of your factors, your pros, your cons, mm -hmm. because people ain't nobody Jesus. Right. Everybody gonna go ahead and do what they are gonna do. Right. All right, so you know, you know, we been we been we been. Wait, 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 listen up now. Wait, wait, you gotta listen up now. Go for it. Keep going. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh. Me? I'm just yeah. saying, I just cut them straight off. I mean, yeah, I mean, when I cut it off and everything, I realized, you know, my flaws and all that. But it was just like a certain situation. Mm -hmm. It was his mom. Mm. And I couldn't deal with his mother. We had a great you relationship. Win. You, you were probably never going to win with that. No, and I wasn't. I felt like I was no. always in competition with his mom. That's not a so, good place to be. not to cut you off, but let me ask you this. When you say you feel like you was always in competition with his mom, mm -hmm. this person is somebody who you decided that you really loved. Yes. Okay, so before this person, have you been in love before? No. Okay, so and this was your I've been with this guy for like seven years. Okay, advice. at what age? So I met him when I was well, 20. Well, you know, okay. If you, need to <laughs> okay. you can say early 20s or five, late 20s. Five, five, five. Um, my mid-20s. Okay. And okay. he was in his late 30s. Okay. So He was in when? late 30s, yeah. So when I broke it off, I was in my early thirties, and he was in his late forties. So, you know, again, this growth. is where you, you find yourself growth. being learning. Sometimes people grow apart too, mm -hmm. and I know we went, we we, we kind of went it was all over the place tonight, man. But this is some good fucking information good to go ahead and learn about, y'all. You know, people I, grow apart too, man. And, and man. again. If there's oh shit, who kid missing? Fucking Amber oh, alert. No, that, I mean it might be that silver alert. It is. 
I, I thought, man, I've That's never bullshit. seen a silver alert before. Like, Ever in my so life. Was that an old person? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, old person. Oh, shit. Somebody go find. Gray uh, hairs. Oh, my God. Somebody go find Auntie Maymay. Or Grin. 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 I like you. Might get struck a little bit. I know. I got to be I got to be Oh, shoot. You better, you better yeah. pray on this Let one. Let me go get my obsidian so I can <laughs> block <laughs> this shit. Dude, I talk shit. Sorry, y'all. Stupid. Oh, shit. I, I'm just honest. I'm no, you fun. know, but I I, I'm serious, y'all. Like, I, it's not even to say that I like to play devil's advocate, but because <laughs> of the experiences I've dealt with, the things I've grown to learn, the roles that we play as people, you know, from men to Mother. women to, you know, uh, child to I mean, uh, mother to father husband to wife son to daughter son to mother you know father to all that shit you know uh, we play different roles and when we get older we do become the the, the children that we were or we, we resort to oh, the mindsets kid. of the child of a child yeah the children that we were as, as, as the adults that we are and people need to again give themselves leeway give themselves uh some 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 uh, boundaries or mm -hmm. you know uh, soft points to realize I be fucked up too. Mm -hmm. Cause I cause you shit. ain't always right, motherfucker. Yeah, motherfucker, I, I I know I be fucked up when I need to be, <laughs> and sometimes I need to be humble. fucked up. You gotta know what I apologize. But at the same time, you know Admit what? when you wrong. I, I, what's up? Uh, let me tell you what's up. This is what's oh, up. Uh, let me. I'm talking. Let me tell you. I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> this is the thing with me. Like a lot of women be more prepared than what men are ready for it. Like for instance, like mm -hmm. for instance, you may have came from a good background with a good mother. Okay. And the thing is things been broken down like for instance a man that told me before, like back in the days, um, women used to deal with men dealing with different women. And, and be okay original. with that because uh, men was taking care of bills. But at the same time you got that right. Men was what? taking care of bills. And then they say that women are too strong advocate. now. But why yeah. wouldn't we be we be advocate? Go ahead. Well, no, keep going. We didn't deal with situations where we didn't been strong to a man. This is not from back in the days where we was doing slavery and different things, and even after that. But even if we was to bring up slavery, to be honest, or whatever, I'm going to tap into that just a little bit. But back in the days when slavery, back in the days when slavery, we used to sit up there and deal with being married to someone, and a man would sit up there and let a white man or whatever not come let. here. Let. Hold on now. Don't say let. Don't say let. Don't say let. But I'm going to say, they would come rape us, and they would sit there humbly, but why didn't you die to stand up for what you believe in? You know, you'll never create it. You, you can't learn did. or create from and, that. And I, I, okay, and I agree with that. Like, okay, well, our women were strong this. enough to understand, like, I want my man here, so I'm just gonna deal with it. So why don't you appreciate us enough? No, but because you know, wait, wait, real quick, because y'all built resentment for that. We couldn't help such a situation. I mean, like again, yes, we should. We should we, we should have killed Massa and all that shit. Some you know instances I mean? that happened, but, but you have some instances where but it wasn't allowed to happen. You gotta, re you gotta realize when a man that was being told. Your wife will be taken tonight. I know that she's yours. You went ahead. You didn't purchase her. She's yours because you're her. They didn't even say that. And I get right. I'm just they saying. You can't. You, you, do, do you realize what you're saying? Like, to yeah, go ahead and I'm, say, you know, um, a woman. Wait, wait, a woman was, she, that, she was defiled. So the man, you know, should have gave his life. He should have went ahead. A man should defend his, his woman to the highest oh, And not to cut you off, but I also agree with that. And I feel that, okay, we could feel some type of way. But at the same time, oh, yeah, it all boils down to a man can change the way you feel. Like, for instance, nowadays in this new day and age, because we sacrificed and went through so much, nowadays it will be our own kind. And which don't get me wrong, I'm still saying. black love, black empowerment. I don't care about nothing else. And that's why I stand on black love, black empowerment. Sure. I love my black men. Nothing can never take them off the throne of being a black king. I don't care what goes on. But I'm just saying, a lot of us black kings will sit up there and not praise us black women. If we start praising black, black women more, but at the <laughs> same time, don't get me wrong, black women also need to act upon as a queen. We need to let the past go. And stand up for a queen. I mean, stand up as the queens that we are, because we'll do certain type of things that'll be very ignorant or do things that defy us as a queen. Like for instance, I believe your body is a temple, 
and no matter what a man do to you or however you're supposed to hold yourself to that criteria like for instance your body can still be a temple but if your kid is finna go starving or whatever then Mm -hmm. you have to do whatever you have to do and you still a temple it depends on mind frame but in the same sense you can't be out here doing whatever you want to do and not carrying yourself as a queen and then expect the king because it's a a contradicting in the situation and I feel that we've been through a lot of stuff as black women black men been through a lot of stuff as black men but we have to start forgiving each other loving each other being strong having communication and stop sitting up there using stuff for our advantage and pointing the finger at black women and then black women using stuff at their advantage and pointing the finger at black men and then we keep going through controversy and then we hate it and divide it and then we're talking about when people are killing black people which I hate it and the thing that people need to pay and the thing is I don't agree with it and we need to stand for it and come together as unity and we don't unitize against each other on what you're saying Black women do right. need to communicate with more black women. And black men need to more. Need I'm not to gonna communicate. control, but let me say this one time. You just not only do black that's women right. not supposed to unite, they are supposed to forgive because that's a big thing. And a lot of black women don't forgive well, because I, of what I, they meant. Go ahead. Communication is what makes get that scary. started. Black men need to communicate um, with more black men. You know, we 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 we, we fear promise. we make people. <laughs> Cross the street or hold their porches closed. Or, Love you know, oh my God, you know, whatever, whatever. We make other people, other races do such a thing, and we can't come together to realize so. the the, uh, the, um, the 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 mightiness of each other, the the power that we really have, just as a force together. And again, not to say you use that force in the bad sense, but you know, again, more African American women. Communicating with more African American women, more Af- more African women. I mean, like the the whole spectrum. You know, we've been our our, our race has been you know uh, defiled so much. We can't play the whole oh the skin color. I ain't gonna lie. Shout out to my girl Sabrina. I be talking shit to that nigga all day. That's my fam. That's my, that's my people. Um, we gotta go ahead and you know get beyond where we, we're really communicating with each other and helping each other be able to understand new things nice. you know uh, uh, learn from each other mm-hmm. have different perspectives from a male and female perspective and also understand that for Sean instance to say something. He, he not really really but, oh, the I was trying <laughs> but yeah, the one thing I'm going to say like for instance if you were sh- like for instance I'm a chef if you a chef, if you a chef, if you a chef, you t- people t- every t- day have different tastes for different things. Yeah. It's a market for us all to win. So stop competing <laughs> against each other and come together. Hey, right, Eric. Like for instance, <laughs> on my page. You said they call you. Yeah, and not to say it like that, but on my page. Yes, it is. On my chef page. What's up, cuz? I promote people all the my time God, who don't promote me. And it's like they be like, oh, we in competition. We're not. Because the thing is, if you cooking barbecue and I'm cooking... Um, seafood and you cooking soul okay. food and she cooking um, Chinese food. It's enough for us all to win. We can put it all down and we can promote each other. On, and okay. if you have a taste for this today, go to him. <laughs> if you have a taste for this today, go to her or whatever. Let's start um, putting each other on a plaque where we all True. can win instead of coming against each other and talking about, oh, her food don't taste that good. She do this, her, her this is mushy or whatever. It's always and a that's, motherfucker that's out there that's like food. that too. That's with everything in life. We too much in competition. That's why mm. Asians and different race and not on the racial height, but that's why different people come together and they win and we don't. Because Eric, we're we going to have to get you down here and, and fuck with us on the show, man. <laughs> Why you talking about uh, Kanye so, Confession? Kanye Confession. So, uh, as we usual. We need Kanye because we going to tear his ass up. Well, y'all. So, <laughs> once again, you know, y'all y'all been tuning in to another episode of Kanye Confession. Happy Friday. It's happy hey. Friday. We've been chilling, as you see, like Eric said, the cognac is hitting. Yes, it is, and this is this 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 the second bottle, and this is gonna oh, be the third bottle. So my oh. fuck, keep teasing us with that third bottle. Te- oh. We gonna hit this tonight. This the good shit. Come this, on. Hey, this Remy Tercet. Yeah, I'm 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 advertising for this oh. shit right we here. We still though. gotta finish that seventeen. This shit go. We gonna seventeen. Yeah, we gonna finish that one. We gonna hit. Corner. But now, uh, I thank y'all for tuning in. Uh, I thank y'all for being on the show. Thank Once again, happy. tell everybody your name, where they can meet you at your social media. Uh, we'll start with you, sis. Well, start with me. I am Jay Songbird One. I have new music coming out. Um, I'm also a contracted chef, Chef Janetta Bird. I also have a son, President Obama, 
coming out um, soon. King Obama, he got an album dropping. He been working since four years old. Now he's 11. He, he oh, shit. Shout out to the young king. Hey, shout out to the young king. We got to give the young kings the praise, and they do. Exactly. And also, shout out to Ray Ryder. He got new projects coming on Dirty Mac. And shout out to my brother, <laughs> Nino Brown, banging for Brown always and every day. Shout out to this platform, the Connect Confessions or whatever. It's everything. Like, Confessions. Look, confessions. Hey, hold on. Let me tell if you. You gonna say okay. my shit? Say my shit well, right. I had to go to a speech therapist too, it's because okay. I couldn't pronounce well, that. So correct you me. Did. So therefore, but this platform I'm talking about is everything. Yeah. You need to come on and tune in and with shout it. them out. I'm talking about it's real life, real. We sit and spit. I was scared when I walked in. They was like they talk that shit, but and we so do. when I walked in, I didn't even know I could curse. So I'm talking yeah. about real <laughs> life, real. What stuff. the fuck? Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> so <laughs> shout out to them. Real, a real, real life. Appreciate it. Happy to be here. Johnny is Your boy, uh, Jay Hugh, uh, a.k.a. the Red Boy, Boy, hey. boy Wonder. My you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, a.k.a. Johnny Blaze 77, a.k.a. Johnny Hughes, hmm. party promoter, party doer. You know what I'm saying? Keep your eyes out. Uh, one love to y'all. Happy yeah. Friday. Everybody enjoy yourselves. Be safe out here. Love your loved ones, man. Yes, ma'am. Candice Coogan. Hey. You can find me at ambitionladies.com Shout out to East Shop and Ambition Ladies, man. Ambition, ambition Ladies. Ladies with a Z. With a Z. Learn about it. Z. <laughs> Appreciate <laughs> it, Eric. And she's beautiful. And in the Thank house. you. Very much so. And we got some black kings in the house, in the house. too. Always. Black queens, black kings. As always, yes. you know. Empire getting house. built. To shine, Very intelligent. You can catch me on Instagram, show your right foe. You know, shout out to the uh, everybody. My cousin Rock, Pharaoh Films. Farrell was in the building. Yeah. He, uh, you know, make sure y'all get ready this uh, Vampire in Oakland, Chron Vampire Chronicles. Y'all check that I'm book out on Amazon. You can order it. Uh, we here, media where media meets studios. Shout out to all, my, all, all our black businesses. Shout out to everybody tuning in. Eric, I appreciate you tuning in. Everybody that tuned in, I appreciate y'all. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's fucking Friday, and we gonna keep the party lit. Because when the cameras go off, we get a uh, toast up. <laughs> the top go off. We see y'all. Tune in next week, man. Oh, my glass is empty. How you do that? We got a. Uh, oh, my glass is it's not empty. It's not empty.